John chapter 5, verse 30. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Jesus tells his disciples that it is their will that will lead their hearts either closer to God or else away from God. Our will is defined as the part of our mind that makes decisions. A person's will is the part of the mind with which somebody consciously decides things. When we use our minds, our will is engaged. And we will all have the power to make assessments, determinations, and choices. Jesus only sought the will of him that sent him. And therefore, he was true. And he was in harmony with the eternal will of God. The effect of submission of his will to the Father's and his seeking in word and work the Father's glory was that there was no possibility of unrighteousness in him. Those who are content with their own pride and power seek their own praise, not the will of the Lord. And this is what Jesus is saying to us in John chapter 7, verse 18. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory, but he who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is true, and no unrighteousness This statement by Christ indicates that a person will not be given the grace of God by which we can overcome the evils of this world unless we are 100% willing to do God's will. But if every part of us is engaged in full agreement with God, we can even move mountains. And nothing is possible. In John chapter 7, verse 17, Jesus says, If anyone wills to do his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine, whether it is from God or whether I speak on my own authority. Many people wonder why it is so difficult for them to continually do what God commands us to do. And the most underlying factor is that we are not consistently practicing obedience because there is a conflict caused by our unwillingness. A self-centered will fails at cultivating the grace of God. Because within them, there is now barrenness, fruitlessness, caused by unrighteousness. When our daily worship, devotion, and meditation on God becomes clouded and hindered. When we place our own will before the Lord's will, we become nervous, worried, and fretful. If any man wills, does not merely point to desires, but the one who performs the distinct act of willing to do his will as their will. This is the one who shall know. Is your will the same as our Father in heaven's will? If it is, make sure your life is going in the same direction as Jesus Christ walked. Amen.